By 1784, Adam Weishaupt, trained Jesuit teacher of canon law, defected from Christianity, and preferred to bow to Luciferian ideology as he taught at the University of Ingolstadt. During 1770, money providers, who recently organized Rothschild's house, protected him to recast and update the sortie demonstrated protocols to yield to the Satan synagogue the global prevalence, and thus be able to impose the Luciferian conceptions on what remains of humanity, after the final social disaster, through the use of satanic tyranny. Weisthaupt finished his assignment in May 1st of 1776. This scheme calls for the obliteration of all current governments and religions. This purpose must be achieved by bifurcating the masses whom he described as goyim, which means human cattle, in opposing spheres in increasing numbers every day on political, racial, social, economic, and other situations. The opposing sides would be protected, and an event would be generated that would make them fight and attenuate while they destroyed national governments and religious institutions. In 1776, Weishaupt syndicated the Illuminati to run the plot. The term Illuminati is derived from Lucifer, which means owners of light. Using the hoax that his goal was to achieve a world government that would admit experienced men to rule the world, he enlisted 2,000 supporters. the most intelligent people in the field of arts, letters, education, science, finance, and industry. Later he created lodges of the Grand Orient, that would be the secret general sites. Wedeshot's recast program asked his Illuminati to do the following things to help them fulfill their intention. Number 1. They use monetary and sexual bribery by acquiring control of the people who are already in charge of positions of high importance in the different tiers of all governments, and other branches of the human movement. When a person of influence falls in love with the cover-ups, traps, and temptations of the Illuminati, he or she have the debit of surrendering to the status of pawn through the execution of policies and other means of blackmail and frights of financial ruin, public disclosure, physical damage, and even homicide to themselves or loved ones. Number 2. The Illuminati in the college and university professorships have to entrust the students to master an outstanding mental power, and that is characteristic of well-educated relatives with international affections for a particular preparation in internationalism. Number 3. Ascendant individuals trapped to surrender under the grip of the Illuminati and students who would have been taught and trained, would have a duty to serve as agenter and be placed behind the stage of all leadership as masters and knowledgeable to enable them to notify the chief directors approving policies that, later on, would exercise the hidden projects of the one worlders inciting the extreme ruin of the governments and religions elected to serve them. Number 4. The Illuminati would receive the domain of the press and the rest of the organizations that provide information to the citizenry. 
The information in the news should have been skewed so that the Goyim thought that a one-world government was the only remedy to our numerous and diverse issues. Since Britain and France were both superior powers of the 18th century, Weishaupt asked the Illuminati to promote the colonial wars to reduce the British Empire and to syndicate the Great Revolution and mitigate the French Empire. This last thing planned to begin in the year 1789. The German author named Franz Xaver von Zwack put the inspected version of the old plot into book form and titled it Einige Original Skripten. In 1984, a copy of the book was issued to the Illuminists that Weishaupt sent to incite the French Revolution. The messenger died due to lightning when he was in Radisbon on his journey from Frankfurt to Paris. The guards found the destabilizing document on his body and it was taken to the state domain. After careful observation of the plan, the Bavarian government commissioned the police to raid the newly organized Weishaupt lodges in the Grand Orient and the residences of his more ascendant colleagues, attached to the castle of Baron Bassus in Sandersdorf. Additional evidence acquired led the faculties to believe that the paper was a legitimate copy of a conspiracy for which the Synagogue of Satan, which controls the Illuminati above power, plans to use wars and revolutions to achieve having one type or another of a single world government. In 1785, the Bavarian government banned the Illuminati and blocked the lodges of the Grand Orient. In 1786, they disclosed the points of the conspiracy. The English headline given, The Original Writings of the Order and Sect of the Illuminati. Transcriptions of the Cabal were issued to heads of churches and heads of state. The capacity of the Illuminati is so great that this warning was disregarded, as well as the communication that Christ had given to humanity. The Illuminati went undercover. Weishaupt pointed out his Illuminists to permeate the lodges of the Blue Masonry and create a hidden society within others. The American author Albert Mackey, known for his texts on Masonry, pointed out that the color blue is categorically the proper dye for grades of ancient craftsmanship. The Hebrew word for blue when talking about spiritual situations is tekelet, derivable from a root word meaning perfection. The mission of masonry is defined as an internal procedure from one side to the other of spiritual perfection in obedience to God. Since the masons relate to varied religions, they know the God as the great builder of all planets. Freemasons who proved to be internationalists, and whose actions indicated renouncing God, started out as Illuminati. This is how the conspirators used the cloak of philanthropy to keep their revolutionary and subversive events secret. Philanthropy is related to the Illuminati beliefs that their good actions will balance their bad actions to gain power, a Gnostic Kabbalistic perspective. Much of the philanthropy of the Illuminati bosses is immoderate. In order to penetrate the Masonic lodges of Great Britain, the Illuminists suggested to John Robeson that he visit Europe. John Robeson did not lower his guard and realized that the Illuminati plan for a benevolent dictatorship was pure deception. Given the support presented to church and state leaders who disregarded the warnings given to them, the revolution exploded in 1789. To ruffle other governments about their risks, in the year 1798, John Robeson released a book, called Proofs of a Conspiracy to Destroy All Governments and Religions. Notifications from him were dismissed as many have been. Thomas Jefferson was a student of Weishaupt. 
one of his most loyal protectors when he was outlawed by governments. Jefferson was part of the Illuminati within the Scottish Rite Lodges that were organized in New England. On July 19, 1798, David Papin, leader of Harvard University, shared a similar warning to graduates at a conference on the influence of Illuminism on American politics and religions. John Quincy Adams formed the Masonic Lodges of New England. In 1800, he opposed Jefferson for the presidency. He then wrote three texts to Colonel William Letstone discovering how Jefferson used Masonic Lodges for extreme purposes.